Today, I will be talking about three common birds that are so interesting. These three birds are the turkey vulture, northern mockingbird, and the morning dove. The turkey vulture is a scavenging bird of prey. It is the most widespread vulture in North America, often called buzzards. Turkey vultures, when standing on the ground, resemble a wild turkey, thus the name turkey vulture. It is unique among birds, as it uses both sight and smell to find prey, whereas most birds don't really have a sense of smell. Identifying one of these birds is not a difficult feat. The head of a turkey vulture is unfeathered, and its color is red. It has black feathers with the edges being more of a brownish tone. The adult's red head contrasts with its ivory bill. At flight, these birds fly with their wings in a noticeable dihedral, or the upward angle of its wings. These birds circle in the air for two reasons. They are sniffing a dead carcass and trying to locate it for consumption, or they are trying to detect hotter spots in the air to raise them to higher elevations, enabling them to fly farther distances with as minimal effort as possible. They can be found year-round in the southern United States. They migrate into northern United States and Canada. They nest on the ground using hollow logs or shallow caves. The turkey vulture's scientific name is Cathartis aura and has a stable population. The Northern Mockingbird The Northern Mockingbird has a really magnificent history and phenomenal behavior patterns that separate them from other birds. Mockingbirds were often captured from the wild and were sold as pets from the 1700s to as late as the 1900s. As a result, it became as scarce along the northern edge of its range. After this trade stopped, the mockingbird became a common sight yet again. The northern mockingbird has started to expand north and is doing especially well in the northeast. The northern mockingbird is extremely territorial. It has been known to attack cats, dogs, and sometimes even humans if they stray too close to their nest. Both male and female mockingbirds sing. They mimic the sounds of frogs and other birds, learning new sounds throughout their lives. The song is a long series of phrases with each phrase being repeated two to six times before shifting to a new sound. The songs can go on for 20 seconds or more. Unmated males are very insistent with their singing. They sing all day and late into the night. The northern mockingbird is a medium-sized gray bird with white stripes upon their wings. They have a light underbelly, almost white. They feed on small insects and use open fields as their hunting ground. Mockingbirds are omnivores. The scientific name of the northern mockingbird is Mimos polyglotos. Their population is stable. The Morning Dove The Morning Dove is the most widespread and abundant game bird in North America. Every year, more than 20 million of these gorgeous animals are killed and collected, yet they still remain extremely abundant with an estimated population of 350 million of these birds in the U.S. There are more Morning Doves in the United States than there are people. The Morning Dove feeds busily on the ground and stores the seeds in its crop. Once in there, they travel to safe places and begin to eat the seeds they collected. The record for the most seeds in the crop of a morning dove is 17,200 bluegrass seeds. The morning dove eats 12 to 20 percent of their body weight a day. Morning doves can drink brackish water up to almost half the salinity of seawater without getting dehydrated. The oldest known morning dove was at least 30 years and four months old. He was shot in Florida in the year 1998, and he had previously been banded in Georgia in 1968. Populations of morning doves declined 15% between 1966 and 2015. One in 20 of these animals eat lead and face constant threat of human hunting. Morning doves are closely related to the passenger pigeon, which went extinct in 1914 due to massive scale hunting and a rapid loss of habitat. The morning dove gets its name from the sounds it makes resembling a call of sorrow and constant mourning. But this call is actually a mating call by males to attract females to breed. The morning dove is a small-headed, fat-bodied brown bird with a light underbelly and black dots on its wings. The scientific name of the morning dove is Zenaida macrora, and their population is stable. 
These three birds that I have mentioned are very common and most likely you will come across them just walking. Take some time and admire these amazing creatures.